미스터트 뭐야? 죄송합니다. 인정 문제 있어? 미스터트 뭐야? 안녕하세요. Hello, my name is Brendan. I'm from the United States. So today we have a special guest. He is one of the baddest men on the planet. Please welcome Lieutenant Ken Ree. Hey, how are nice you? you Finally. Huh? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. I don't know about the most baddest <laughs> on the planet, but we'll go ahead. <laughs> If you don't mind telling the audience a little mm. about yourself. 네, 안녕하십니까. 저는 이근대입니다. 처음으로 보다 차이나 와가지고 이렇게 브랜드를 만났는데 너무 재밌는 자리가 될것 같습니다. Bad morning right now. <laughs> oh man. I'm a former Rock Seal. A Rock Seals are basically uh, counterparts of the U.S. Seals, and I served about a little over seven years in the military. Um, what's uh, unique about me is that I was born in Korea and it, as a baby I went over to the US, United States uh, with my parents and grew up in the US, so from elementary school all the way to college. I went to VMI, I don't know if you've heard of VMI, yeah, Virginia right. Military Institute. Oh yeah, I heard of them. So graduated from there and then popped back to Korea and got commissioned in the Navy. Wow, that's, that's inspiring. Yeah. Wow, seven years, jeez Louise, <laughs> that's a long time. How um, long have you served? I heard that you were in the Marine Corps. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps for four years mm -hmm. and I got out as a very low rank terminal mm -hmm. lance, mm -hmm. as we call them. So okay. that is not as, 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 mm -hmm. as intense as Navy SEALs, uh -huh. but yeah. it was honest. Well, I worked with a lot of the U.S. Marines. Um, I worked with the U.S. Marines uh, fast teams. Oh, yes. Um, I was over in the Gulf of Aden doing uh, counter piracy missions. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I got to work with a lot of Marines out there and uh, really good guys. Uh, you guys have a lot of pride. I'm a huge mm -hmm. fan, sir, like a huge fan. When I first heard about you mm -hmm. with the Musak and Navy SEALs, I was right. intrigued and mm -hmm. impressed because it's to mm -hmm. work on both sides of mm -hmm. Navy SEALs, uh, especially the SEAL program, is, is really inspiring mm -hmm. because you have so much knowledge. You have knowledge mm -hmm. of how it, what it means to be a Korean warrior and American warrior. So mm -hmm. to me, it mm -hmm. was more impressive than any. Well, thank you for saying that. But yeah, I did get to see a lot of the uh, Korean side and also a lot of the U.S. side as well. So what's funny is that I went to VMI, did the uh, commissioning program to become a U.S. officer basically, right? And then um, that didn't count in Korea. So I had to go through the Korean officer commissioning program. So basically I did it twice, right? Went yeah. to the U.S. and went to Korea. And then when I became a Korean SEAL, I had the opportunity to go through U.S. SEAL training. So I had to do two hell weeks, you know? I had to go to BUDS twice, once in Korea and then once in the U.S. Wow. I think I took the long way around, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no regrets. It's, it's been fun. So. Oh, yeah. 브래넌 알고 계셨어요? 조금 알고 있었죠. 왜냐하면 보라를 한두 번 봤었어요. Uh, I know you did a lot of reviews. I think I saw a review on uh, North Korean Special Forces. Oh yes, I or the North Korean military in general. But and you do a lot of that because of your background in the Marines and you've been deployed. Especially uh, the review that you did on Katasana. So. That was funny. It mm -hmm. brought back a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys saw that I was really into it. It was, mm -hmm. was because my career was cut short. When I deployed to Afghanistan, I was wounded mm -hmm. in Afghanistan. Oh, so whatever. when I saw this, it was like a Charlie and the Charlie Gate Factory, you know, mm -hmm. with the golden ticket. I saw that, I'm like, I have to get that chance again. So mm -hmm. it was just really inspiring to see that this was brought about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's definitely a tough guy. The way he looks, you know he's a tough guy, but he's like one of those subtle, quiet tough guys. He's like the Hollywood movies of like the guy like that's like fun of me. <laughs> but he's actually a deadly assassin that can kill everyone with the flick of a finger. That's why I buy my gift from him. He went through two different branches of UDT. Wow. That's intense. He went through it. Wow. Oh my god. Whoever is under his command, oh my gosh, like oh. I want to yeah, get his brain to like, he has so much I think he's so much serious. Sorry. You're so good. 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 And you understand what? all those comments, right? Time out. <laughs>
I do understand a bit, out. actually. Yeah. Someone with Jay so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start using that for now. It's pretty good. Someone bugs me. Oh, thank you, sir. I, uh, when I heard about you the first time, and I'm like, oh, two blood program, two hell weeks. I'm like, that's intense. And then mm. I seen the personality. It was really like inspiring because it reminded me of when I was, like I ran into my joint instructors, and then how hard my squad leaders were when I went to the fleet. So mm. it, it gave me that sense of homecoming. Right. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. First off, thank you for serving in our country's branch of service for U.S. Navy SEALs. It's a honor and a privilege to have a brother like you I can call my brother in arms. And also, I would say keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully in the future, we can grab a beer or something. You can shed your knowledge on me because your mental warfare training is epic. <laughs> <laughs> Most fans that uh, have never served, they, they wouldn't understand like the right. whole mental mm -hmm. aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So when I seen that, I'm like, wow, this is just inspiring. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. You know, I think the reason why Kachatana became so popular was because I, uh, I instructed in Korean. Oh. And my Korean is not as good as my English. I think it's an accent thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have an American accent. But a lot of the comments that I made or like a lot of the, um, the frustrating comments that I made on Kata Sanai, they became viral. <laughs> so none of that happened in BBC. Oh, yes. <laughs> no. But people did say that I sounded like an American oh, yes. on the BBC show. But yeah, I did the BBC thing first. And then later I did the Kata Sanai. Kata Sanai, yeah, it just, um, it was a very popular show. I didn't expect it to be this crazy, but oh, yeah. yeah. Kata Sanai was more like, more like a story, whereas BBC was more like a documentary, oh, yes. right? And uh, Kata Sanai, I think they did the edit really well because there were a lot of funny moments in there, but there were also a lot of serious and a lot of sad moments in there as well. Oh, yes. um, and uh, yeah, one of the guys was really fat and uh, he couldn't really um, you know, keep up. Um, so I think a lot of that was emotional for, for the population. Oh, yeah. The message was delivered very well, but I wanted the students to really prove that they can uh, do more than they think they can. Oh, yes. Right? And that's really important, not just in, in training, but in life. Yeah. And that message was delivered to the Korean population. And I think that's why the Katasani became so popular. I've seen some guys that were like literally almost there, like mm -hmm. almost there, mm -hmm. and the next thing you know, they just started like dwindling down. And I saw that, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I saw the look, I saw it in their eyes, I'm like, oh yeah. man. Because you know, you can tell they were almost there, but then it was just that, that last little push, they, they just like, the light was, the flame just went out, you right. know? So I'm like, it, it was really heartbreaking to see at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really love the show overall. I think it's amazing. Oh, so. Thank you. <laughs> so there are a few questions that was in my mind when I was watching your videos and if it's okay, it would be honored mm -hmm. to ask you. Yeah, go ahead, shoot. Mm -hmm. How was it living in the USA? Uh, living in the USA, I, I lived like an American and I actually thought I was American because I never went abroad um, you know, in my childhood. Uh -huh. So I didn't really have a passport. So um, yeah, living in the US was great for me. Um, I did a lot of sports. I was uh, a swimmer mostly. Uh, I did swimming and um, also some mixed martial arts. Oh. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was into a lot of that stuff. And I think um, because of that athletic base that I had, that's what inspired me to be a SEAL. And of course, we had the movies as, oh, as a yeah. child, right? So, um, I did encounter some racism. You know, I was born in 1984, you know, grew up in the 80s and 90s. Oh, and uh, back then, not too many people knew about Korea. People knew about China or maybe Japan, but not too many people knew about Korea. And um, sometimes people would say, yeah, go back to China, you know, oh, just because yeah. of the way I looked. Yeah, other than that, I mean, it was no big deal. Made the uh, best of it in the States. I'm really happy that I was educated in the U.S. I think the U.S. has a very good education system. I think uh, because of those experiences, I was able to be accustomed in Korea very well. Uh, that's what made me adaptable, I guess. <laughs> so speaking of discrimination, mm -hmm. uh, as we were both minorities in the United States, there were times where I faced and seen discrimination in the armed forces. Uh, have you ever faced any form of discrimination while serving with the U.S.? No, no, I haven't. Um, so, you know, like I served in Korea for a little bit, got, um, got to go on deployment, uh, did a few tours, and then came back, and then there was this opportunity to apply to U.S. SEAL training. So, of course, I applied right away, and uh, I went over to San Diego, got my um, slot into BUDS. When I was going through BUDS, you know, all the guys were really cool. A lot of them were younger than me because I was a, um, you know, a full lieutenant oh, yeah. going through BUDS. Yeah, I mean, they were really good guys. They were good. Um, there were college grads there. There were it was a good mixture. There were former prior enlisted guys. Um, there were also guys fresh out of high school. So there was a good mixture. And uh, no, I didn't experience any racism. 
and I keep in contact with some of my uh, SEAL buddies even oh, nice. now. So I think you know, I was very fortunate to have such a good class. I was in Bud's class 294, and when we go out to San Diego into town, you know, to grab a drink and all that, I mean, yeah, there was no racism. I think um, the world is changing, you know. Oh, yes. Back in the 80s, I mean, there was a lot more racism back then. Nowadays, I don't see too much of it, and uh, when I go abroad, because Korea is so well known, oh, yes. you know, Samsung, Hyundai, LG, and all that, um, yeah, I, I get a lot of praise going oh, yes. abroad. I, I still go on a lot of business trips overseas, and um, it's, it's, it's getting better. What do you think about Marines? Uh, well, I mentioned that a little bit. Um, I worked with a lot of the U.S. Marines, and uh, we had a few Marine prior enlisted guys in BUDS, in, in the U.S. BUDS. Um, there were also um, some Korean Marines in, in my Rock BUDS class as well. They, I mean, they pull security so well. You know, when I've worked with them, you guys pull security really, really well. I mean, I think that comes from the infantry background. Oh, so yes. the difference between what I see is that you're born as a SEAL. Yes. And we're never a, an infantryman. Whereas like a, a Marine is always an infantryman. Yes. I, I got that right. That is true. Yeah. And uh, because you're always an infantryman, your infantry tactics are really, uh, really good. And I think that's why you guys pull security really well. Oh, yes. Um, if I had to uh, take down a target, I would always I would want Marines to uh, have my back, you know. And you guys definitely have a long history, a very proud history. And they definitely show that all the time. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Like, I, I respect the SEALs so much. Like, I knew a couple of guys mm -hmm. where their dads were SEALs. And right. I'm like, man. And I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. But like, man, like every every Navy SEAL, they say, if I had to go clear a building, I would take Marines with me. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe they're saying that to be humble and polite, but like... No, no, it's yeah. true, it's true. Because SEALs, they suck at pulling security. I mean, uh, because we're more surgical, oh, you yes. know. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but because we operate in small numbers, we're not a unit to take down an airfield. That's true. You know? We're not a unit to um, pull security for an airport or for a stadium and all that. So I think uh, Marines do that the best. Mm -hmm. and, and I've seen it firsthand, so I'm not just saying that to be humble. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. uh, you mentioned deployments. Mm -hmm. So on deployment, what is your weapon of choice for any mission or any deployment? Well, I think the, uh, the M4 standard in the U.S. military, right? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. M4? Yes. Have you used the uh, M4 or the M16 in your unit? I was in the Marine Corps mm -hmm. on deployment. I had to use every single weapon. I would, it would switch up. We specialized in many weapons. Mm -hmm. So on deployment, I was using the 240 on the on patrols. Okay. M240, Bravo, mm -hmm. M249, uh, M16, mm -hmm. and M4. Okay, so, so you switch back from rifleman to oh. machine gunner, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, no one wants to be a machine gunner. <laughs> oh, no, it, those things are heavy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in the Korean military, I don't, know, I don't know if you know, but most of the Korean military use Korean-made weapons. Oh, yes. Um, they used to be made by Taewoo. Now they're made by a company called SNT. And the lineup, like you have the M series lineup, right? M4, oh, yes. M16, and all that. We have the K series lineup, K for Korea. So mm -hmm. we have like the K1, K2, and the numbers keep going up. My unit, the Rock Seal team, th there are only a few units that get to use, um, well, let's say, uh, imported weapons. So my weapon of choice was the HK416. HK, HK um, it's a German made weapon. The HK416 is basically the M4 design. Ooh. It's a lot more solid, a little bit heavier, but it shoots tight. We call it a Gucci weapon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more expensive than the, than the M4. I think um, on the US side, Dev Group and Delta use the HK416. So in Korea, well, only the Rock Seal team uses the HK416 in the military. And on the police side, I think the SWAT team, the Korean National Police SWAT team, they were able to get their hands on the uh, HK416 recently. So does it shoot smoother than the M4? Or? Um, the recoil is pretty much the same, oh. but uh, it shoots much tighter. So tighter meaning that I have tighter groupings, even oh. though I shoot the same with, with an M4 or the HK416. I think it's a lot more accurate. Oh, nice. I had to get my hands on one of those. Yeah. <laughs> but in terms of like weapons jams, they didn't really experience too many malfunctions. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so, and that's a big part of um, you know, our weapon selection program. Uh, you know, obviously we want to pick the weapons that are, that are very reliable. But yeah, I think the HK416 in the market right now is probably one of the best weapons out there. That yeah. and the, uh, the MCX yeah. from SIG. But uh, yeah, the HK416 is my weapon of choice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. That sounds like a beauty. I have to mm -hmm. look that up now. Maybe next time we could share a lot of that information as well. Oh, you know, no. I'd love to have you on my channel. Maybe we can talk about some tactics like uh, marine tactics. Oh, yes. We can go over some of the SEAL tactics and talk about the differences.
It'll be, it'll be an honor, sir. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, my knowledge is very small, but whatever I can mm. share, I'm mm. more than more Yeah, than yeah. Uh, always learning, so. Mm. And I like to see what other units do as well. Oh, yes, sir. Mm. What are the biggest differences between Korean UDT and U.S. Navy SEALs? Get the F out. Yeah. We don't need you here. <laughs>